Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the NPTEL online certification course on structure, form and architecture. I am Dr. Shubhujit Shadukha, assistant professor in the department of architecture and planning IIT Roorkee. So, I am offering this course uh, with the aim to get some better understanding on the structure, form and architecture which are seem to be very important uh, for especially the students who are pursuing architecture and even the civil engineers or the architects because this uh, lecture will um, give you some insight on the better understanding of selection of structural system and then the form selection which will actually support to make our architecture the way we want. And today this is the lecture number 1, this is introduction to the structure form and architecture the synergy. Before I really start this uh, particular lecture, uh, let us just understand uh, this subject. As this name suggests, structure, form and architecture comprises of three different terminology. So, let us understand what we understand by structure. So, structure has many definitions across different fields. So, pertinent to a building design or architecture, structure is basically uh, a combination of different part and parcel, they act together to support the system, where the form is the visible outcome of any object. An architecture is basically the process, which will include different thinking, creativity and apply with the science and technology to create some outcome, the articulation of space. And the synergy is basically the strong association with all this terminology. So, in this particular course, what we will learn? We will learn different type of structure that may be used for the architectural design, different form which can be supported with the structure and different piece of architecture where we have the application of the structure. Let us start with these two photograph. So, two buildings I just placed on the first slide. The one is a museum building designed by famous architect Jaha Hadid. The other one is Burj Khalifa, a tall building, a very famous building in Dubai. The reason behind putting these two pictures in the first slide to understand the essence of it. The first one, the museum, we can see this is basically a form which is being created with multiple curves and being supported with some steel, glass and other materials to give a pleasant look. We all appreciate it, there is no doubt on it. The other one is the Burj Khalifa, a tall structures and it is really fantastic to watch. But this is the final outcome, to bring this into reality there are different processes. So, one has to design it, then visualize it and that has to be supported with the structure. So, can I say that this is only the form based creation or it is just the imagination, rather it is the combination of all this and that is what this subject is made. But these are all new buildings, so let us see this. This is not much new, but again another uh, you know wonderful architecture that we all admire, we all uh, you know appreciate. One is the Louvre's Museum, which is basically a transparent uh, you know uh, outlook and having this pyramid shape. The other one is in India, that is Taj Mahal. It was made long back, but with the perfection in the symmetry and as well as the stability, still we uh, can enjoy this environment there. So, this is another example. 
Now, not it is not new in practice. Even if we go back to the primitive age, from there also, like people they invented different type of shelter, different type of structures and form, which actually you know make us wonder even at this age. When we start with the stone hinge at the long, long back, then the primitive shelter and the pyramid. We all know in Egypt, there are lots of pyramids, the example, the huge mega structures, the execution of that with different kind of material form, really it is surprising to us. Even that is true for the Parthenon in Greece, which is a series of column that is supporting a structure. And uh, apart from that, we can see this uh, a curve form uh, structure uh, designed by Felix Candela, the famous architect and structural designer. And uh, in this side, the Golghar that is situated in Bihar. Uh, and this is uh, basically a structure which is uh, appreciable. But at the same time, if you look at the broad perspective without much, uh, not going much detail in the structural components, so these are basically a form. One is uh, maybe the, you know, uh, spherical form, one is a conical form, somewhere it is a cuboid one, sometimes we use the complex curve with a hyperbola or a parabola and sometimes it is a pyramid, a very straight away. So, it has a relation. Now, as already I mentioned that if you look into the definitions, it will change in different subject. So, we just tricked ourselves to the definition that is applicable for the building uh, design or so. So, structure is a construction uh, or framework of identifiable elements, different components, different uh, you know parts, steps which actually need to be figured and need to be combined to act for a purpose and which will make the you know your design stable, it will give a form and resist the stress and strain. Well, uh, later on, uh, we'll actually see all those terminology stress, strain in detail, though those are very basic, but again, we'll touch upon that, what we understand by stress, strain of a structure. Then come to the form, the definition of form, the visible shape or configuration of something. So, what we can see because of the light and uh, because of other uh, physical parameters, so basically the outcome, that is the form. Sometimes it may be spherical, sometimes it may be conical, sometimes it is regular uh, 3D shape or sometimes it may be a combination. We add some subseptic form or sometimes we go for the additive form to make a composition and give a look to our form. And the architecture, uh, I am uh, pretty much sure that you all know different kind of definitions, different uh, definitions of architecture given by different architects and different sources. Uh, so, here it is basically one of the definition I have taken from a uh, dictionary that architecture the art or practice of designing and constructing building. So, sometimes architecture is not limited to uh, building or uh, space creation, sometimes it also includes some other parts and uh, sometimes also like we uh, create some outdoor architecture, it should not be the meaning uh, the uh, you know meaning I just want to convey that uh, it is not always architecture means a closed form uh, enclosure. It may be something semi open or sometimes even it is of different combination. So, these are the definitions we know, uh, but looking at the definition, uh, it is not really very clear the association or the synergy that we are talking about. But they are having a relation. Definitely a form, uh, we say it uh, stable because of uh, the material used to build it or maybe the structural backup uh, which actually made it stable. In the architecture also sometimes it is just created by the function that we require some space and we just measure that uh, space and we build something, some enclosure. But sometimes we can generate with a different form, we just be determined. So, it is an intuitive process which will help us to create this outcome. Now, uh, here I place two photographs again uh, and taken from uh, two you know different uh, wonder piece of architecture. One is Eiffel Tower in Paris, the other one is the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. 
So, my question to all of you looking at this photograph the first what comes in your mind is this an example of a structure or a form or an architecture. Already though I mentioned that I have taken these examples from great architecture, but still the option is on. So, some of you may say that okay, Eiffel Tower is a kind of lattice structure is made of steel and is a creation is a structure and I can debate on that that maybe it is a just a form that is being created with a perfect symmetry with some scale and proportion and as because it has some utility spaces. So, we can also say it is architecture. So, if I get a definition in this case all definition all answers will have uh, the you know right sense. So, we cannot really distinguish. Now, come to the other one the Gagana museum is a very complex design and developed on the mathematical calculation and all different surfaces, different curvature, the application of material. So, it is something a form which actually depicts some transition and create this beautiful piece of architecture. So, again we cannot define these two photographs with a single answer, we cannot discard other two answers uh, from this. Now, this is a simple photograph that depicts all like what comes first structure should we st uh, start our design with the structure keeping in mind or should we start just uh, the form. So, is very tough question yeah to me it is very tough because you know when uh, for a student of architecture when we give this subject uh, any design assignment and ask them to design it. So, we give them some requirements. So, whether they will first uh, start with uh, creating the you know form of that or they have something in their mind about the structure they can use. So, uh, it uh, difficult task for them, but definitely we cannot neglect one for the sake of the other one. So, we have to give the equal emphasis to both of them the form creation as well as the structure probable structure that can be uh, you know considered for making that form. So, uh, we need to think this simultaneously. So, for making it uh, very comprehensive very stable and um, you know a great outcome that we want from the design. So, we need to think both the form that can be taken of the structure that can be you know helpful to create that form as well as overall it will give the architecture that we want. Now, uh, the next slide this slide is uh, basically a representation like again in the continuation of which comes first. So, it is very uh, difficult to say that time, but in this picture uh, if you see there is a skeleton and the mass that creates the beautiful. Uh, human like us. So, always if we uh, appreciate the outlook is basically uh, what we see we can appreciate uh, uh, the human looking good and all, but at the back it is being supported with the skeleton uh, the bone and also that is being well structured. So, that is another important thing though we have different parts of the skeleton different components, but if they are not tied up uh, in a right manner. So, we cannot function, so we cannot appreciate and that is so true even uh, the recently built um, the statue of unity is a huge structure. So, the outcome is looking as a sculpture, but if you see the construction. So, it is made of uh, different structural element that are combined together to give the stability and end result you can all see this uh, you know really a great uh, structure or you can say the sculpture or the form or even the space created inside it the architecture. So, looking at these two slides what we can understand as of now that we cannot think structure and form separately. So, structure is an integral part of the form and we should keep this in our mind when we take up any design. So, that from the day one we can 
actually start thinking of the probable structure that can be used for the design, but definitely we cannot fit everything everywhere. So, based on a requirement, we will fix it. I give you another example. Say for example, I have this uh, pen, it is a very simple design, but uh, it is not that much simple. So, basically the result we are getting from the refill. So, in this, the refill is a very tiny thing and if you just uh, give a try to use that refill to write, you will not be comfortable. But when we use the body of this pen, maybe of plastic or maybe of metal to give the grip. So, one thing is your basically the anthropometry and the ergonomics which will help us to make the grip, this is one point, but at the same time this body will make it more stable so that you can use it very comfortably. So, like that in each of our creation to give a you know solid uh, or maybe a stable uh, you know outcome. So, we have to think about the structure how you can fit it. Now, this is one example from uh, Beijing, China. So, that was built uh, uh, recently the Bart Nest Olympic Stadium. So, this is again another example of a structure which is inspired by the nest. So, here we can say the form was taken at the initiation is just a bird nest, but the execution, the proper alignment of the beam and column, it is very important here. It is not so much regular that we often see in our uh, building, uh, you know, regular buildings. So, this, this is another example where, uh, you know, the form is predominant than the structure, but again to make it happen, to get this feeling that we can resemble this with the bird nest that has to be supported with the right type of structure. Now, go back to the next, uh, go to the next one. So, this is another uh, example of the form. So, this is a photograph of TWA terminal and uh, this is uh, basically the main terminal building. So, looking at this picture who are actually, um, you know, have studied the contemporary architecture and I am sure that they know this building and this form creation is uh, like inspired by a bird. So, it has a relation with the airport, so um, uh, rather the aeroplane. So, they both are flying or with that concept it is being developed. But the roof structure if you see that it is very important uh, to think about uh, the type of structure to be used. And who are having experience uh, of uh, you know airport, any uh, you know international airport or a, you know standard big airports. So, we need some huge span, whether it may be an example of our Delhi airport or maybe uh, the Kolkata airport or any airport if you visit. So, we need that span so that people can move easily. So, to get that span, we need some kind of structure which is not regular beam and column maybe. So, how to select that one is another challenge. Again, if you think of a form like here uh, they have used the form of a bird. So, the challenge will be even more to how to implement it. So, again uh, it can say uh, we can say that uh, this also uh, this represent uh, that uh, the structure is an integral part of form and we, we all now come to a point where like we get those examples and we can correlate it with this. Now, uh, next two slide, this one and the next one, we will see some of the forms which is already present in the nature and next slide we will see some form which is basically the man-made. And the structural form that we really aspire, we really you know um, appreciate those things, one is the cape and it is maybe the uh, you know the first shelter of that particular primitive age what which was created naturally and uh, the form it is making stable so that people they can uh, feel some safety out of the externalities and all and this was very useful. Now, to address this uh, uh, I just want to ex extend it 
basically uh, like why should we create the form, why should we create the architecture, the basic need of architecture or our space as we consider that the shelter is one of the basic needs of uh, you know survival. So, basically uh, if there is no need, there is no invention, no design. Now for the shelter the purpose if we go back to the history, so in order to save uh, uh, like our primitive uh, um, age uh, you know ancestors, they actually uh, had to you know save themselves from the externalities from the other animals and all. So, that is why shelter was much needed. Though it was a tree house or the cape or later on they invented many other things to you know get uh, survived from the externalities. So, that was the need. So, that creates the requirement to create the space the enclosure which will be safe. But at the same time if that cave was not that much stable and can cause some of the other problems to the inhabitants. So, purpose is not solved. So, that is why uh, the stability and the safety. So, these two terminology will use later on quite frequently uh, to define the structural need. The other one is a uh, uh, bird nest again is a fantastic creation and it is really needs some perfection. So, if you see uh, in due course of time I will show you uh, this particular nest uh, in detail like how they have made and it has a purpose to uh, lay their eggs and then how they make it very safe from other you know external uh, externalities other you know dangers these birds. And in this particular form it is basically a mess looking from uh, uh, you know very close picture it is just a zigzag of some of the fibers and all, but overall it is creating that particular sense and a good architecture that we can always inspire and uh, from that now it is uh, this kind of nest being used or we can see it in our interior as a means of uh, your lighting or something. The other one is the honeycomb, this is another beautiful piece of creation where uh, like uh, the bees they made this hexagonal shape and it is so accurately done. So, this is a form and in order to stabilize it how they have uh, you know made it. Uh, we will also discuss it uh, in uh, due course of time this kind of structures. So, in the lecture uh, profile like uh, in the number of lectures the one such topic will be of uh, the architecture and uh, you know structure created by different animals and birds. Now, uh, again um, the example of the spider wave. So, it is strong enough for them to uh, you know you know stay or use that as their habitat. So, this is we can relate with some of the cable to structure and also we get inspired by that and we can create some kind of structure with the roof uh, like rope and we make it. The human skeleton already have depicted it with a picture that this is the backbone. So, everything we do even today I am standing I am delivering the lecture. So, basically it is supported by the structure. So, uh, along with this uh, skeleton uh, like all the bones and with the you know mass it actually formed and make it uh, make me able to speak. The other one is the other example. So, there also we can create it has a relation with the golden mean ratio I guess uh, many of you know this ratio where it is basically a form uh, like where it creates some of the involute and is a really beautiful creation. So, these are very few of them that I, I, I could able to put it in this slide, but there are many. So, basic idea of putting this to get habituated with the form that is already there in the nature and their structure. So, that uh, we just modify a little bit we can take inspiration from this example and we create uh, our solution keeping all this in the mind but based on the requirement definitely things is going to change. Now, uh, these are some of the man made structural form where igloo is another structure which is uh, being made in uh, you know in case to get uh, the comfort from the outside uh, like to save ourselves inside and get the comfort 
for, from uh, other externalities outside in that. So, wigwam is another structure very simple temp uh, structure that also help to get protected from the external thing. Then even we create some thing like uh, you know your kite or maybe the aeroplane or the parachute that acts with something with the ear. So, uh, like sometimes we heard this term called aerodynamics and this is the principle where all this flies and other thing. So, this is another helpful uh, tool or the term that uh, help us to decide upon the selecting some kind of structure for taking into consideration this aerodynamic properties. Again we create the cranes which is another you know supporting system I would say to create uh, the beautiful piece of architecture that really helps with the you know levers and other thing this crane is created so that it can help us to build the structure the way we want and at quick time. And uh, another invention that is the first aeroplane that is again uh, acts with the aerodynamics and all and we can see the example of the corner that is a, a suspension bridge and we really appreciate and there are lots of suspension bridge across the globe uh, which really you know make us really think about how it is uh, so much architecturally pleasant and aesthetically looking great as well as stable. So, how these are acting, why it is being made with a suspension uh, cable or is making a tensile structure. So, we will discuss this kind of uh, you know structural form being used for different purposes during the course and the course is designed in such a manner um, that uh, we will design each component different type of uh, structure and form to create this. And uh, last but not the least in this slide is uh, the example of a sail structure which is situated uh, in uh, you know India Baha'i temple and uh, this is another example where like it is uh, a meditation uh, you know hall being created where uh, like this uh, sail structure is help and how it is creating uh, the form of a lotus and sometimes we also refer it as a lotus temple. Uh, so, we will uh, see this uh, thing how it really acts. Now, moving on to the objectives. Now, uh, to be specific, the main objective of this course is to learn the relationship between structure, form and architecture to make a synergy between them. A proper synergy can only work and create the architecture structurally strong and stable, functionally optimized and aesthetically pleasant. So, if I make a structure very strong enough and stable enough, but hardly we have any space to live in, that means our purpose to create that space is not fulfilled. So, probably our selection of that structure or element is not appropriate. So, we have to also satisfy the function or the requirement of creating architecture and after all the last but not the least is to look it very impressive aesthetically pleasant so that everyone looking at the building appreciate they enjoy that particular creation they appreciate they give a value to it. The other objective is to know the fundamentals of structural forms. So, here we will not really go into detail of the mathematical calculation of those structural thing, but main idea is to understand their behavior their fundamentals and their pros and cons to use for a certain thing. So, it will help us to make a decision to select the appropriate form and structure for our architectural design, especially for the students who have just started the architectural design maybe in the second year or maybe the in uh, second semester of first year, this course will really help them because when they start the architectural design at the same time this course will give some input from the structural point of view, the structural form that they can use to you know improve their design solution, they will not stuck into that. And again to learn the structural application through suitable case studies this is very example, there are successful stories. So, we will uh, explore that and uh, what is my idea, I will also present you some of the you know 
model and we will do some small experiment to uh, believe in that particular property how it is going to help to our uh, requirement and it will definitely clear the doubts that we had normally in our student uh, days also uh, we face that problem. So, it will clear the doubts of those things and help them to relate it with the architectural design. Now, come to the process uh, like architecture is basically uh, the articulation of space through application of art, science and technology. So, we all agree that first we have to be very much imaginative and we have that creativity to create something really uh, appreciable and then we have to make it real with the application of science and technology. This process also includes an integration between idea, first idea should be there to create something innovative, innovative then the technology and the control. The control is very important where we manage it and then uh, definitely the one of that process includes the fulfilling of the requirements. So, if we fail to fulfill the requirements, uh, maybe the solution will not be appreciated. Satisfaction the, uh, satisfying the needs and the desire of the end user, the how the way the who are using it, who are actually uh, you know experiencing it, how, uh, how well we can satisfy them to that. So, this is uh, the process of this in a summarized way where like uh, as uh, like when uh, like we go to an architect for the design. So, basically it is between your user, designer and developer, developer may be the builder in this context to have a design solution. So, always there is a process okay? uh, and a feedback like uh, user the client uh, come to Oh, an architect. So, say the requirements I have want to do this and I have this much of fund or something. So, architect will design something and then it will have a cross checking and feasibility and cost benefit. So, basically it is optimizing everything. So, fulfilling all needs so that the final outcome will be as desired. And during that particular designer, it includes both architect, structural designer, many other designer, uh, many other engineers, so that it can be done uh, in a comprehensive manner and give the outcome. Some key points that I just want to highlight in this lecture and definitely will go into detail in our coming uh, lectures. So, key points that we have to decide upon the structural form and all the space that is available, the requirements given by the client, the constant different constant may happen that your structure to be built in an earthquake prone area or in a flood lowland area. Then what is the purpose of the structure that uh, is whether it is a like huge uh, activity hall or the um, you know your, you need to make it for a huge convention hall or it is just for a small residential building. The concept that idea that create the form and all the available tools that will make this design the technology uh, definitely day to day the technology there is a huge improvement. So, how we can integrate that with the, our design process then different resources along with the manpower and other resources so that we can optimize at the same time sometimes we also see the economic viability then the materials to be used how this, this can support the form and the aesthetics that we were looking for execution. So, after all everything we have and finally, if we fail to execute in a proper manner, so that will not really give us uh, the uh, required or desired outcome and the maintenance. So, based on that definitely during the process we make different solutions, alternative solutions and we go for a suitability assessment to pick up the best one that can fit. So, uh, now uh, we are almost um, you know aim to conclude this particular lecture. So, the synergy we talked about among form, structure and architecture, uh, there are different objectives definitely. So, this synergy proper synergy will ensure the safety of the user, fulfill the requirement very obvious, satisfy the functional need. So, one of the uh, pr primary uh, you know points that we have to look 
into and the optimize the resources, resources as I already mentioned it may be the um, material, it may be the uh, you know cost, it may be other manpower etcetera solve the purpose. So, as purpose was uh, one of the you know like uh, initiation to create something new. So, anyhow this synergy should solve the purpose what we actually desired and uh, then the ensure the perfect fit. So, taking the best synergy, best alternative to have the desired result. So, basically uh, now coming to this slide what are we going to learn from this course. In this course we will learn the types of structural form, different forms, basic structural property and behavior of them to know where they can be you know applied and where not. Structure architecture relationship how they are being related from the past to the recent time, different structural materials that are very helpful to create different kind of uh, you know wonders in architectural field, then structural application on resili uh, resilient and futuristic architecture. So, resilient and futuristic architecture what we are talking about this is the need of the hour where we have to make our thing resilient with the you know natural disaster or uh, man made disaster. So, how we can do it with the case study. Next lecture will uh, focus on relationship of structure to the architectural buildings as of like this is our focus to relate it with the buildings. Uh, so, I think uh, this will help you a lot and this is the reference uh, you can go for the further reading. Again uh, I would like to thank you.